Hello people, my name is Flake from Germany. I was born in Germany, but I'm original from Congo, Republic, Africa. We turn the leaf, why don't we turn the You're giving me the coldest Like you don't even know I'm here. Why don't we turn the leaf? Why don't we turn the Why don't we turn the leaf? Why don't we turn the The reason why I'm gonna do this video is just to talk about life, about art, music, passion, my influence, everything. So where should I start? With dance. Dance is for me definitely freedom and peace because it saved many lives. Like for example, people who are very hopeless in their life, people um, who have almost nothing in their city left, like in ghettos, but find a solution of for the future with dance. And it's so interesting how dance can make like put us all like in the same same place without even speaking like the same language, but. The most important thing is like that we have all this connection so this is like for me freedom music and dance and i could not imagine this atlantic this world without without dance and music so this is definitely freedom for me and you know like for a lot of like for a few people that lives like in heavy places they have like nothing left so that's why they dance and and they work, for, of course they gotta work, but it's not like with that kind of work that they do like in these heavy places is like with no emotions, with no um, happiness. So the only way to make their life become better and happier is actually to dance. So I think we really should appreciate what we have today. Like for example, teachers who travel like, traveling like all over the world they should really appreciate their situation for example a situation of an organizer that's trying trying to organize a workshop or a dance event for example i don't know for example you are the organizer and you want to invite someone so you know you have a lot of organizers who work for months really for months to get you there really like I mean work, not like workshops, I mean work. They work for months to get you there to teach just for a weekend. So that means like the salary, the the budget like that he works like maybe like for 1,000 euro, you will get it like in a weekend. So you should like, people should really respect like both sides. You have the um, the commercial side, the commercial school, which, earns like many of thousand euros of course you're gonna ask like for more money and everything this is uh, uh, one side and the other side is like to respect their history and to help the students because actually these organizers just want something better for their students in the future so it's very important to be open-minded and to connect with both sides because if you just think about money and business and i don't know this is not peace love and unity for me peace love and unity is to understand both situations also to accept for example a workshop with less money or to accept the situation of the organizer of the students to listen to listen to a questioner this is very important because a lot of people who are famous nowadays they are like okay i got my money i'm gonna go back to the hotel that's it you know but you know sometimes you have students they was waiting like for months to see you just in that moment but when you just left you're just gonna break like his own his whole picture you know so that's why it's always important to understand situations and 
share. Share is like a big thing in dance. Dance is also, what is also dance for me? Dance is pain because like for me, to me example, for me it's like even if I have sometimes private problems, I try to put it out with my body language. I don't try to share it like with other people because they have nothing to do with that. So that's why if I feel like good today, I'm gonna, this is like the best body language that I can share with people. If I feel bad today, I just let it out, you know? So this is like actually also pain, happiness, emotions, especially emotions. And, and also like, Whatever you want to do in life, there will be always some people who's going to support your back. And there will be people who's going to judge you, criticize what you want to do, who's not going to understand your perspective, who's going to judge you again and um, give you good and bad advice. This is life. This is a part of your life. No matter if it's dance, if it's music, if it's art, fashion, everything. There will be always people who's not gonna understand the new generation and the new generation is not gonna understand the old generation. So, but you know, like to be honest, no one really deserves to be to to be judged by someone because we are we are trying, we all are at the same time students of this nature. And we all um we all are making mistakes, but we learn from mistakes, we learn from our weakness. So it's always good to talk, to talk good, and to share experience because I can um, share my perspective with you, and you can teach me something what I can, um, what I what I didn't solve by myself. But it's always important to talk, not to talk online, to talk in person. This is always so important. And what is also very important is to do what you love. For example, I'll talk like about Germany. I have like many friends who admire me like what I what I do today. I travel around the world. I really I really do what I love. I just do what I love and they say like hey Flake um we really respect you because I remember when we was younger we was playing like soccer in the playground and everything and now you're there now in Tokyo, now in Spain and everything. And I'm like hey Listen, if you want, you can do it also, you know, nothing is, nothing is impossible, but, um, but the problem is a lot of, a lot of people don't try to take, don't want to take a risk. To me, it's not even a risk, but uh, a lot of people think like, okay, what will happen if it not, if, if it's not going to work? You know, like a lot of people was following just the money, the like save money. Like for example, like the government, like my example was when I was talking with the government, I told them, hey, I want to be a dancer. I just want to do what I want to love, you know, in the future. And they say to me like, yeah, it's good. Of course, you're going to do it. But first, save your future. This is like the most important save your future so maybe you can I don't know maybe you can work in the shop but I don't know but you would get your money for sure and I was like no I'm not living for the money I'm living for what makes me happy now because I'm young and I want to live my life I'm not going to live my life because the government because you just done your capture of finding a solution for me that doesn't make me even happy you know what I mean so that's why that man manipulates many people their minds in life you know they really listen to the government and and don't believe anymore in their vision don't believe like to to make their vision become touchable someday so this is like a big problem because we artists sometimes we really don't care what the government says we just do what we love this is the right thing i think you know, because also the government told me, like, what do you want to do if you're going to break your leg one day by dancing? And I remember that I 
answer than like what do you want to do if you will be in the office but you will get blind one day that's actually the same thing you know what I mean so I would never give someone the bad energy of asking like such a dumb question like what do you want to do if you're gonna break your leg or you want to be ill uh, someday that's not gonna happen because if you're gonna think negative it's gonna happen like this so just um, it's very important to live your dream because if you work without emotions and happiness there will be just money and that money doesn't make happy but I can understand some situation because I think every one of us needs money this is my opinion because we need to survive especially for those who has family who lives like in heavy places because we can't just thinking like okay I just do what I love of course you have also to think about the future how you have to cal calculate like okay this I have to pay my rent I have to buy my baby I don't have a baby <laughs> But I have to um, give my child like um, child like this, this in the school. So it's very important to save it. But of course, especially if you are young, it's so important to live your life. No matter what, no matter what people say, no matter what people trying to tell you. Like, are you sure? You sure you want to do it? Don't care. Just listen what your heart is gonna tell you. Because it's two different things, mind and heart. It's two, it's like two different pla planets. Because why I'm gonna tell you like mind and heart is two different planets? Because I remember when I was with a friend of mine, and we saw like a homeless man in the street, and I gave him, I gave him like two euro. And a friend of mine, after like a minute, he was like, "Hey, why gave me just money? Because he already know that he's gonna buy like." drugs and I don't know and I was like hey it wasn't my mind who decided this it was my heart who just felt this sadness in front of my eyes so I couldn't just walk away that like for example nothing happened so that's why um, a lot of people don't listen to the heart anymore you know what I mean because sometimes we see sad things but we just ignore it you know, even if you think like he's gonna do something bad with this money, but still you can um, just follow your heart because you want something good. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm, it's just an example that like, to think like mind and heart is two completely different things. It's also like in dance also, if you want to dance, if you just think about, then you it's not gonna be the same like dancing with your heart so it's two different planets um who inspired me um I had to say James Brown James Brown was like one of the biggest influence for me James Brown because he was so unique what he does like with his legs and the energy and the JB's behind and the maybes everything that was just legendary. This was like, you know, like, I don't know, like if you're a kid and you really want something and that was James Brown. James Brown was always like the spotlight in my whole dance career. JB's, James Brown, the Soul Train Gang, the original lockers, especially Don Campbell Lock is a huge inspiration for me. Um... Pharrell Williams, Pharrell Williams really inspires me, Usher, Nina Simone 
when she performed the ballad of the Hollis Brown. Your baby's eyes look crazy to tug at your sleeve. You walk the floor and wonder why with every breath you breathe. The rats have got your flower, bad blood has got your mouth. This is so legendary because music always inspires me like in many different ways because it's so universal. And yeah, the ballad of Hollis Brown, Nina Simone, Nora Jones, and also these young cats in hip hop like Kendrick Lamar and Frank Ocean. Because like we had this time where people was thinking like, oh, hip hop is dying and everything. But when these two, two dudes came out, it was like they give a lot of young dudes in the hip hop music industry like in the underground hip industry to make them believe that it's still possible that it still goes like in the same direction like before in the 90s or the 80s so it's very great to have inspirations like Kendrick or Frank Ocean it's always good to do something for a good reason and also with dance like I remember when Marta and Nikki won the Juste and it was actually the first female team winning their first Juste together in hip hop so after that I remember so many girls were so inspired by them and then yeah Nina Simone, Frank Ocean, Shade, Shade is a huge inspiration for me the futures it was like a band late um, early in the 70s um what i also really like is fashion fashion is a good thing for me because it describes like the personality and everything for me fashion locking locking is an interesting dance that was created by don campbell Lock campbell and he has this crew named by the original lockers and what I feel about locking today, locking is, you know about locking today, like it's for me not a surprise when people, when they're just seven or seven or maximum to 20 people. But I would, I would, I would be happy if we will find just a solution to make this beautiful dance become bigger. Maybe it's the music, maybe it's the mentality. Maybe we don't talk each other. This is the problem. I think we don't talk to each other because you you have always these people who try to criticize, who try to tell like, no, this is wrong, this is right, this is wrong, this is right. But that comes from both sides, not just the old one. That comes from both sides. So I think. The best solution will be just like to talk to each other, to connect each other and see like on what we can on what we can do because to be honest, like if we just discuss we behaving like teenagers sometimes. So I think like the the biggest step would be just to connect together and my opinion is the music. A lot of people a lot of people been asking me the couple of weeks why I changed so much. Why I don't want to call myself a locker anymore. Because I don't want to hurt anyone. And I and I never had the idea like to break any roots or roots or something because I do respect everything. I started with the roots to learn the roots, to understand the history, to study the history and to share this is very important and like the roots the older generation should understand that we trying to build a tree with this root and the tree should also understand the roots because we um we should communicate together without even judging anyone because we all do it for the good reasons you know what I mean so 
I think if we just talk, if we just communicate each other, there will be just freedom living all the time, 24-7. And this is like the living proof that we can do all the time. Um, yeah, I just want to share with you because I really would like to find a solution with locking and everything. So, and we, you know, like in life, you will never know what you want to be, and sometimes. You want to be a photographer like me. I wanted to be a photographer like just two years ago and now I'm directing my own short movies and I'm dancing. But I never know like in which direction it will be in the future. So it's a full of surprise. You will never know what you want to be in the future and you will never know what will happen. But what even will happen to tomorrow. So it's always so important to enjoy this moment right now because if you just think like okay i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it next year i'm gonna do it i don't know if you plan too much you not you not know like if it's even gonna be happen you know what i mean so it's important to finish plan a even without thinking that plan b exists you understand what i mean so yeah so I just want to thank you all for listening, for sharing, and for expect and supporting for what I do. So I wish you much luck. No, I wish you much success in your life. And believe in yourself because I think nothing is impossible. You are losing nothing for trying to win something. Okay? Alright. Flocking.